Good morning, friends. I hope that you're doing well. I hope this video finds you well. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about um, dragonflies, right? And so dragonflies are insects that you find near ponds. And so I thought it would be cool to take a closer look. It's a super simple book, but today the writing is going to be, um, I want you to take a little time with the writing, okay? So dragonflies. Today is Friday, May 29th, 2020. So here are the words that we're going to need to know. Eyes, wings, flower, grass, stick, hair, legs, spider, leaf, water, moth, bird, bee, and rock. And so I just I want to tell you again that this book is very simple. We're going to breeze right through it, but I want more importantly to look at the um, the pictures in the book, right? There's some beautiful pictures of dragonflies. And um, we're going to take a look at the writing, okay? So dragonflies. So you can see the dragonfly with the eyes. So take a real good look at it. It's very rare that you could really take a good look at a, a dragonfly because these guys are, these insects are moving super fast. You can see the dragonfly with the hair. Look at the hair. I never knew that dragonflies had hair. You can see the dragonfly with the legs. Look at their pretty interesting looking legs, right? Pretty wild looking, right? And look at their colors. Yellow and black, kind of like a bee. You can see a dragonfly with the wings. See how big these wings are? Look at the size of this color. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge. You can see the dragonfly with the flower. Okay. Notice that the color's different again. You can see a dragonfly with the leaf. You can see the dragonfly with the grass. Okay. You can see the dragonfly with the stick. Look at this color, it's all red. You can see the dragonfly with the water. So look at the um, look at the water here, right? Wow. You can see the dragonfly with the rock. Look at its wings. One, two, three, four wings, man. Maybe even more. These look like uh, secondary wings. You can see the dragonfly with the bee. So what are you doing to the bee? What is this dragonfly doing? It's eating it, right? You can see the dragonfly with the moth. Oh my gosh, that moth is gone. You can see the dragonfly with the bird. You can see the dragonfly with the the spider. What do you think is going to happen here? And so this is what our writing is going to look like today. And so it's called the dragonfly writing. So I've included the bird, the picture, bird, dragonfly eating. So what is happening in this picture? It's going to be our writing. What do you think is happening in this picture? The bird is eating the dragonfly. What else can you write in the sentence, right? You could write a sentence like this. Super simple sentence. The bird is eating the dragonfly. Now, is that a good is that is that a, is, that a, is that a good sentence? Yeah, it's okay. How can I expand this sentence? How can I stretch this sentence out? The next thing I could do is the bird. If I could describe the color of the bird. Uh, yellow and blue bird. The, so now I'm going to give it a description. The yellow and blue bird is eating eating the poor little dragonfly, right? See how I gave it another descriptor? Why is it saying a blue bird? Oh, because it could be working. All right, I see what it's saying. The yellow and blue bird 
is eating the poor little dragon fly. See how I stretch that sentence? Okay. Um, actually, I don't want it like that. Oh, sorry about that. I'm describing the color of the bird, not the type of bird. Okay. So what's happening here? I've included the word B. Uh, let me give you some space here. B, dragonfly eating. So how can I describe this? The giant dragonfly is eating the tiny little honeybee, right? I could stretch that sentence out. Now, this one is fun, right? Um, what do you think is going to happen? The, I just gave you the two descriptions of the, like, just telling you the two insects that are in there, or the arachnid, right? So we have a spider, and we have a dragonfly. And so you're going to tell me, using um, your imagination, tell me what's going to happen in this picture. Okay? Hope that you're doing well, um, and make sure that you're being safe. Bye.